This video is part of the series promoting the sustainable use of medical oxygen. Today we present the pressure regulating valves. In the last video we talked about the minimum information that a purchase order for a cylinder must contain, the material the cylinders are made from, maximum working pressure, internal volume, and valves to open and close gas flow. Since cylinders store oxygen at very high pressure, this must be reduced for flow meters, mechanical pulmonary ventilation equipment, anesthesia equipment, and other medical devices such as nebulizers. Flow meters are the simplest and most common devices used to administer oxygen. They are built to operate at a pressure of 50 psi, or 3.5 kgf per square centimeter. If a flow meter works at higher pressures, the amount of oxygen delivered to the patient will be greater than prescribed, creating waste in incorrect dosages. Therefore, pressure regulating valves are used. Basically, there are two types of pressure regulating valves those that fit a CGA 540 connection and those that fit a CGA 870 connection. Pressure regulating valves may or may not have adjustments. Those that allow adjustments usually have two pressure gauges. One shows the pressure inside the cylinder, the other shows the pressure setting. Unadjustable valves have only a pressure gauge showing the internal pressure in the cylinder, and are designed to reduce the pressure to a fixed level close to 50 psi, or 3.5 kgf per square centimeter. This keeps the outlet pressure suitable for the flow meter connected to it. Here we see a regulating valve with an attached flow meter designed for a CGA 540 connection. And here we see a regulating valve with an attached flow meter designed for a CGA 870 connection. When the hospital or country uses more than one type of valve, the number of accessories multiplies. This can make work processes more costly and make it difficult to swap equipment or accessories between different hospitals or clinical settings. In our next video we will talk about the flow meter and its importance for optimal use of medical oxygen. If you have questions, you can contact the PEHO Technical Group on oxygen at gto2 at peho.org. Thank you for watching this video through to the end.